Okay, one of the ways I've simplified my hair routine is by using a waving iron because I can wash and style my hair on Monday and not have to rewash it again for seven days. It's like magic how it extends the time you can go between washes, how easy it is once you get used to it, and how many compliments you're gonna get on your hair as well. And I also wanna give one of these away along with three of my favorite hair products, so be sure to stay till the end for all of the details. Okay, here's my disclaimer. I am definitely not a beauty blogger, vlogger. I don't do beauty tutorials, but so many of you have asked how I get my hair crimpy in some of my videos. And I do like simple, I do like easy, and I do like things that save me time. And so by using a waving iron on my hair, I wash it and style it on Monday. I touch it up a little bit throughout the week, but it'll last me a full week. And then I start again from scratch the following Monday. So honestly, this to me feels like a minimalist tool or trick. And we've been talking a lot about time management lately. And so for me, this is a time management tip. So I'm excited today to show you how it works because it is very easy. I don't consider myself a really good hair styling person, but this I really think anyone can do. It works on any length of hair, any thickness of hair. So. Let's get started. So this is the bed head waving iron. I got it from Amazon around $28. I've had it for at least four years and it works great. They have other depths of waving tools that you can check out, but for me, I really like this. I think it gives kind of a natural look. How my hair is now, I just washed it this morning. I put in some volumizing mousse and a heat protectant spray and a texture spray. So I'll link to all the products that I use down below, but use any of your favorites. You don't have to go buy a bunch of new stuff for this. So now that I dried my hair, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna use some clips to section it a little bit. So these are just off Amazon. They work really well, they're really strong and they're kind of longer than some. So I'd like to just take the top section of my hair up Again, I've never made like a hair video, so <laughs> you just kind of bear with me on this one. All right, I take the top section of my hair up and then in the back, because the back is gonna be the hardest to do, what I do is I divide it evenly in half and then I'm gonna put this section up as well. Now that we got that stuff out of the way, my hair is fairly thin. It's not like thin, thin, but it's on the thinner side, so this doesn't take as long. If you have thicker hair, it'll take a little bit longer. And then for the bottom layers, I do like to put just a little bit of like a light hold hairspray on. Now we're ready to go. So I'm just gonna take a thin section of hair like this and take the wave iron. Here's what's great. The under layers don't really matter. When I'm in a hurry, I don't even do all of the under layers. I just do what shows. And so we're just gonna take it and line it up towards the top, hold it for just a few seconds. So you wanna line up the next bump with it and then go on to the next one and then I like to leave the ends just a little bit straight or curl them under a little bit okay and then we can just take our next section of hair so for this one I'm trying to reach all the way back to get to where I parted my hair and you can do especially on the bottom layers you can do a fairly thick and wide section of hair. Really the, the layers that I focus on the most are just the very top because that's really all that shows. So these under layers, it's a great place to practice and get used to using this and it like, just doesn't matter that much. And I wasn't sure if this would work as well on thicker hair. My daughter has Tom's hair, our oldest, and so I just wasn't sure. She wanted me to do it to hers and I was like, I don't know how long it's gonna last. It held up just as well in her hair too. We sprayed it pretty good when we were done with hairspray and then it, it lasted for a good five days in her hair. So again, these back pieces are gonna be the hardest, but don't worry, they're not, they just don't have to be perfect. So now that I'm done with that section, I am going to switch and put this section up and let this section down. But by doing this with the clip, then you're sure that you get all of the back pieces and you don't have anything funky going on in the back and I'm just going to clip this like this since I already did it and I don't want to stretch it out. The other thing that I love about the waving iron is like here in Minnesota it gets super humid in the summer and so this holds up awesome to the humidity 
And similarly, if you're gonna go work out, I just put it up in one of these clips. I don't, I don't put a binder in because that seems to wreck it the most. But once you get used to this, I mean, I can do all of my hair in about 10 minutes. So just like that, all of the bottom is done. So that didn't really take any time. Just give it a light spray. All right, and then I'm gonna take the top down. And again, I'm just gonna divide it in, the ha in half as I take it down. So I'll put this half. And then on the top, I just, I just start at the top and work my way down. Now, for like the very top layer, there's two different styles you can do. I just use the crimper all the way up because I'm trying to create more volume on the top of my head just because of my face shape and um, how thin my hair is. So I like to crimp all the way from the top, from the part down, just to create more texture and more volume. However, if you were looking for more of a natural style, you could keep this very top section out, crimp the rest of this, and then curl the rest with a curling iron instead and that's going to give you a more natural look because as you stretch out those curls then it's just going to blend in with the rest and it'll look more natural like you have more naturally curly hair. I think when I crimp all the way to the top it doesn't necessarily look super natural but it works because I like the volume that it creates. So I'm just going to start at the very top and then work my way down. The only thing you really have to be careful about is the straight edge of this. It will leave kind of a line if you don't do it just quite right. And then I just flip it over. <laughs> all right so once it's all done I just kind of run my fingers through it loosen it up just a little bit and because I have these kind of short crazy layers over here I usually like to just put a bobby pin in it so that's how you've seen it lately in my videos just kind of pin this back like that just like that honestly it really once you get quick at the that the waving iron it really doesn't take that long and so how i make it last a week is with dry shampoo um you know i'll just spray it in at the ritz like tomorrow i won't really have to do anything but then like the third day i'll use this and then the last couple days of the week i've just been putting it up like in this video i got so many compliments on my hair in that video and that was day six of of this hair and so the last couple days of the week i'll usually um put it up it works really well for that too if you want to do kind of a fun ponytail after i sleep on it like the next morning sometimes i have to retouch up these front pieces or just a couple pieces on top but i never have to start over from scratch again which is so fun about it so truly even if you're not good at like hair stuff i think you could probably figure this out or if you have kids that you wanted to just kind of try something fun and different with i think they would like this too the other thing so my hairstylist like I've actually been going to a salon lately to get my hair highlighted and cut I need a cut now really bad but she ended up having surgery and so she's out of commission for a little bit so this is what I've always used in the past to do my highlights their touch on highlights by L'Oreal I know Diana my sister is watching this she's cringing right now but I actually just touched up the front pieces and around my face until I can get in with her again this is like $12 but it works so well and I split it in half this last time so I can use it again so again if for yourself but or if you have like teenagers that want highlights it's actually really easy I have had Diana help me with it in the past and it looks really good the tone is really good of it so the color comes through really well so 
I'll link to this down below because it's from Amazon too. And I'm very excited to give one of these waving irons away to you, along with three of my favorite hair products. So I'll also give away some Batiste Dry Shampoo, the Texture Spray, and some Volumizing Mousse. So just like this video and then leave a comment below. Share anything, your favorite hair products. Do you think you could use this waving iron successfully? Or any funny stories you have from trying to color your own hair at home? Leave a comment down below, like this video, and you'll be entered to win. You can find the full details in the description box. Unfortunately, we do have to limit it to the continental US and we'll select four winners on July 3rd. I hope this helps. Thank you all for all the kind compliments on my hair. You're very kind and I do appreciate it. I hope if you do this to your hair, you get lots of compliments too because that's always a lot of fun. We're gonna keep talking about time management. I've shared some of my favorite tips, how I organize my to-do list. Coming up, we're gonna talk about the whole clipboard system above my desk. So if you're interested in some good time management tips, be sure to subscribe so that we can keep in touch. A thumbs up is the best compliment that you can give us and I'll look forward to visiting with you again really soon.